Howdy, guys. Welcome to night 57 of Big Brother All-Stars. This is Cliff Notes from outside the house. All right, we have a triple eviction coming up tonight. There's been all kinds of conversations, people trying to figure out who they're targeting, who's targeting them, a lot of conversations. So we've got to get right into it if I'm going to cover it in 15 minutes. So let's, let's take off. All right, first of all, let's go to the key room. Memphis is, uh, Christmas is talking directly to the cameras. Uh, she's saying she'll do whatever it takes to get to final two and it, and she will win HOH tonight and she's going to get Danny out of the house. Well, Danny's feeling the same way. So Christmas and Danny are certainly two of the biggest conf conflicts we've got right now going on, uh, in the bathroom, Tyler and Christmas are talking. Remember these two have a final two with each other. Tyler is thinking that tomorrow is going to be a double, uh, probably a surprise eviction like Tuesday night of next week as well. But he thinks tomorrow night's a double. He's telling Christmas saying, if you, if you win this HOH, you've got to put up Danny and Nicole. I think Christmas is fine with that. They're both fine getting Danny out the door. In the key room, Memphis and Danny are talking. Memphis is saying, I'm not sure anything unusual is going to happen this week. Well, just wait, Memphis. Uh, Danny, on the other hand, is really nervous. She, she's thinking it's going to be a double tomorrow night and then another eviction later. She is worried that if Tyler wins HOH, he's going to put up potentially David and Enzo, and that if then David comes off the block with the veto, that Tyler might put up her or Memphis uh, in, in David's place. Well, Tyler might just straight up nominate Danny and not even worry about David to begin with based on what we're hearing. But she's worried and she has a right to be. Uh, she's worried if that was to happen, that the committee may then turn uh, turn on her or Memphis and send them out the door. Memphis is much uh, more secure. He's saying, now, I think we've got the votes. I think they would back us up the committee. I'm not sure you're right, Memphis, on that one. All right, in the bathroom, Christmas and Nicole are talking. Nicole is saying, look, Christmas, Danny is going to kill me after the show, but, but I'm done working with her. Uh, I really think that, that Nicole at this point is doing a decent job of trying, or at least she's trying to distance herself from Danny right now with everyone else, uh, because I think she recognizes that Danny is becoming quite the target for a big part of the committee uh, in that house. Uh, Nicole is also saying, Christmas, I had to really fight to keep you off the block this week because Danny was pushing to co pushing Cody to, to go after you. Uh, and Nicole is saying, that's why when I didn't win OTEV, I was so upset because I really wanted to save you Christmas. So she's putting, uh, she's layering it on pretty thick with, with Christmas and trying to develop that relationship uh, so that Christmas doesn't view Nicole as a target because she's already viewing Danny as a target. And Nicole is also saying, that Danny only cares about herself. And Nicole is promising Christmas that if Danny is on the block and I win veto, I am promising you Christmas, I will not using it. I will not use it that Danny has shown no loyalty. So I, I owe her nothing. I'll leave the vetoes alone and we can, we can send her out the door. Nicole is also saying that Danny is terrified, not just of Christmas uh, and because of Christmas, because she thinks she's a strong competitor and would put Danny up. But Danny is also terrified of David. So she's been busy trying to throw Nicole under the bus to David so that if David was to win, he would go after Nicole instead of Danny. I really think that if David win, wins HOH and he puts up either Danny or Nicole on the block, he's probably putting them both up. J just a thought, uh, but I think that that would be a more viable option. All right, so in the upper lounge, we've got Enzo and Tyler speaking. Enzo is saying, look, if it's between David and Nicole, Nicole is gone. And Tyler says, yeah, sure, I have no problem with that. Here's the thing, David is suddenly not the primary target. There's bigger targets. He's going to be able to float under the radar a little bit, and we're going to see how far he gets in this game. All right, so in the HOH room, Memphis and Enzo are talking, talking about how Christmas is so pumped up that she is going to kill this HOH competition tonight, and they're thinking that if Christmas wins HOH, she's going to go after the two girls, Danny and Nicole, just like she did in her seasons, going after the women. Memphis talks about the fact that he's amazed that Nicole hasn't won anything, and yet everyone's talking about going for her before they go for Tyler, and that kind of surprises him. Uh, because, uh, again, it just seems like Danny and Nicole are, are names that keep coming up much more than Tyler. All right, in the comic room, Christmas and Kevin are talking. Kevin is saying, look, there's going to be a triple eviction tomorrow night, and Christmas is saying, I don't know, Kevin. I Maybe it's a devil. I, I, if it's a triple, I don't even know how it works. I don't even know how to play in a triple. Well, Christmas is getting ready to get a quick little introduction and education about how tri triple eviction works. Christmas is worried after Kevin tells her that, look, Christmas, if David is on the block, he's going to be a perpetual pawn. Anyone who's on the block against David 
they're going to be the obvious tar target and they, they better be careful because they're probably the ones going home. After he says that, you can see Christmas getting a, a little bit no more nervous thinking about her position in the game and, and the fact that David may not be that primary target for a lot of people. Uh, Christmas talks about David. She says, look, I don't know. No one knows. David doesn't even know what game David is playing. Well, perhaps. Sometimes that's not always a bad thing. All right, so in the HOH room, Tyler and Memphis are talking. Uh, both of them are talking about Danny was all over them today, campaigning, trying to figure out where their heads were at. Tyler saying, look, Danny obviously senses that something is up. She suspects someone may be flipping and she's losing it as a result. Memphis response says, well, you know, Danny, she better win tomorrow or her, her ass is grass. So, you know, there, there is something to be said. Uh, they, they certainly aren't denying that, that Danny has something to be worried about. Uh, both of them are saying that they're going to really push the committee loyalty on Danny just in case she does win. Yeah, as much as they think she's a target, uh, at the same time, they want to make sure that if she wins, that she's loyal to the committee. I'm not sure that she's necessarily as loyal as they hope she will be based on some, some other conversations we're going to talk about. Tyler is worried what she's going to do uh, because she's already said that the committee is not going to make it to final six. She doesn't see that, how that's going to happen. He's thinking that if she wins HOH, she'll probably go after some combination of Christmas, Tyler, or Memphis. So he's a little bit worried about that. Add in David to those first three, and I think that's probably right. I think that group of four, two of them would go on the block, and one is a replacement. Uh, Tyler is also saying that if David wins HOH, they need to push for him to put up Danny and Nicole as the targets. Now, David has said that he's not going to be manipulated into doing other people's dirty work. So he may put up Danny and Nicole, but there still may be the other option of putting up Memphis, who we know he may want to get out the door. Uh, and along with Memphis, Christmas seems like a, a viable alternative as well. So Christmas, Memphis, Danny and Nicole, if HOH is won by David, I could see one or the other. They're talking about Enzo. They're saying Enzo gets so pumped up but he's always real vague in terms of giving information back to us. It's hard to get a, a good read for him. Not a bad way to play the game, Enzo. Tyler says he's not going to be surprised if he finds out that Enzo has been lying to him this, this whole game through. Good job, Enzo. Play the game. All right, Memphis is saying that, that Danny said that if Tyler wins HOH, he was gonna, he's going to put up Dan, Danny and Memphis. And Memphis says, you know, she, she said that, that you would put up me and her. I just, is that true? I don't think that's true. Tyler says, look, Danny just says things like that to get a reaction. And then once you respond, she carries that reaction. She tells everyone else. So no, that's not true. Uh, Christmas is saying that she's okay keeping David for another few weeks because she wants Danny and Nicole gone next. But on the other hand, uh, Memphis, this is up in the HOH room, sorry, I kind of got ahead. Uh, so she's saying that she's okay keeping David for another couple of weeks because she wants Danny and Nicole gone next. M Memphis, on the other hand, is saying, I am not going to allow David to reach final five. I'm just not going to do it. So a little bit of conflict in terms of who the pecking order for the targets between these two people. Uh, Christmas is talking about Nicole. Uh, she's talking about how uh, how nasty Nicole played at this point during her previous season at this point in the game. And Nicole plays nasty that Danny is just super irritating right now. Again, Christmas wants both of them out. She needs them gone before they get the chance to go after her. She's trying to sell this to Memphis. Uh, Christmas is worried that, that Danny or Nicole probably told David that Memphis wanted to backdoor David last week. And so David may be coming for, for Memphis and Christmas as a result. Memphis is saying, I don't really care. It didn't happen. So whatever they say, it doesn't matter. Well, it kind of does, but yeah, well, we'll see. Uh, again, I don't know which way David would go. Uh, Christmas is saying that David doesn't even know how to nominate people. If he was to win the HOH on a double eviction, his head may explode. Well, here's to hoping that we get to test out that theory and see how well David may know how to nominate for a, du for a double eviction or a triple eviction. All right, so Memphis is saying that the best case may be for Nicole to win H -O HOH send David home because they don't really care about that. And then Nicole can't compete the following week, uh, which, which means, you know, that, that's better for them anyway, in terms of their chances of winning and, and taking out uh, her or, uh, or Danny. So in the HOH room, Cody and Memphis are talking, uh, talking about everyone's gunning for everyone tomorrow or tonight, and that people really shouldn't overact if they're put up as a pawn because of that. I kind of disagree. Even if you're put up just as a pawn, it still is going to show a lot about pecking order, your relation to whoever wins HOH. So 
there's, there's nothing that you shouldn't be a little bit overreacting to. Uh, tonight. Everything's important. Uh, they're thinking that they've both laid enough groundwork so far that they should be safe tonight. I kind of think they're right. I don't think Cody is number one target for anyone. Uh, Memphis may be as kind of a replacement and all of that, but he's not the absolute primary target for anyone, except maybe for David. And even that I'm not certain about. But So I think they may be right. They may be a little kind of safe, safer than other people. Uh, Memphis is still amazed that production tipped, tipped them off about triple eviction opportunities. I'm surprised too. Uh, Memphis says he, he thinks it's impossible to do a triple live on TV like they do in Canada. Well, guess what, Memphis? Let's see what happens. Cody is saying that Nicole is super tight with Christmas. I didn't get this. I'm kind of surprised to hear that. I, I'm not sure how true it is, uh, but it does show that Nicole maybe as much as she's been trying to, to pony up, to buddy up with Christmas and distance herself from Danny, Maybe people are noticing that. Uh, they both think that Nicole threw Otev, and she's just playing for her jury vote. She wants to get carried to the end without a lot of blood on her hands uh, and just wants to be friendly with everyone before uh, reaching the, the final two voting. They're also talking about Enzo. They think Enzo will put up Nicole since she hasn't won anything. And Enzo's so big on you got to win stuff if you expect to stay here. They're saying that tonight's going to be messy, even if they aren't directly involved with anything. As viewers, that's what we are hoping for. Bring on the mess, my friends. All right, so uh, in the HOH room, Nicole is crying. She's saying she is freaked out about the double that, that she thinks is occurring tonight now. If she only knew, no, it's not a double, Nicole. It's, it's a triple. Let's really see the meltdown at that point. So she's very worried about it. Danny is trying to calm her down. She's saying, look, ideally, Christmas, Tyler, David, none of those win HOH. And Danny is saying, hey, look, it might even be good if Christmas wins. I'm not sure how that works. Maybe she's thinking that, that Christmas would send David home and then she can't compete in the following HOH. Or she thinks that because Christmas is loyal to the committee, she would leave uh, Danny and Nicole uh, alone on her nominations. I wouldn't count on that. I wouldn't count on that at all. Danny is asking, Nicole says, Nicole, if you were to win HOH tomorrow, would you make a big move? Nicole says, I don't know, I, but I'm fine with David going home, but I don't know if I'd make a big move or not. I may just pull you into a room, Danny, and ask what you would do, and we'll figure it out real quick. Danny is saying that she would never put up Enzo, uh, that her loyalty is to core four, who Enzo is a part of. Her loyalty is to core four and not the committee, which means Christmas and, and Memphis are not, uh, not part of the core four. They're part of the committee. So you kind of see where her targets uh, would be, which doesn't surprise anyone. So finally, we have the have-nots to get their have-nots giving where they, they get to eat again. Uh, Kevin and, and Enzo had a blast eating regular food, had a blast with that. Final conversation in the HOH room. Fairly long conversation, but I've tried to summarize it up. This is between uh, Cody and Danny. Uh, and Danny is asking, saying, look, Promise me, uh, Cody, if I win HOH, would you vote out who I wanted you to vote out? Can you promise me that? Cody says, well, no, not until you tell me who it is. And she says, if, if I got HOH and I put up Christmas and Tyler, would you promise to vote out Christmas? And he says, yeah, absolutely. I, I'm not sure he expected those two. He says, sure, I'm, I'm fine with Danny going out. No problem at all. I mean, with Christmas going home, I'm fine with that. Uh, Danny also says that that, Davis, uh, that David said that Memphis is his target, but she says, I just don't know if I believe him. She may be coming for, uh, for, for me and Nicole instead, uh, which is viable. But at least David told her that Memphis is still his target. Uh, Danny is thinking that Christmas is perfect for a double eviction to get her home tonight, because otherwise, she says, if we don't send Christmas home tonight, then that means it's a regular week and we got, we've got to deal with her all week long. She's just going to be clapping at us all night long and really cause a wreck a lot of, create a lot of havoc in the house. Let's send her home tonight and a double would be perfect. Uh, and finally, finally uh, they talk about the fact that neither one of them has a final two with Tyler. And they know that Tyler, based on his last season, season 20, he's not going to go through a season without a final two. Since neither one of them has a final two with Tyler, they've assumed that he's got a final two with Christmas. So they've got to take that in consideration. All right, there you have it, guys. A lot of information. I got it in under 15 minutes. Tonight, of oh, so excited. Anticipation. Uh, I will be back in 24 hours. We're going to talk about all the after effects. It's going to be amazing. It better be amazing, right? All right, guys, y'all have a fantastic uh, Thursday night. Do not forget to watch. This is going to be perfect. I will see y'all in 24 hours. SKD143, enjoy the show tonight, because I know I am. Bye, guys.